our vaccine numbers gone up 42% for fully vaccinated San Diegans, but now that number appears to have remained stagnant. Really, it has stayed in the low 40s for weeks now. Yeah, and one of the reasons could be because people who are pregnant or wanting to have a baby are hesitant about getting the vaccine. Here's Netta with that story. Being pregnant has its own set of concerns. For most parents, you want a happy, healthy baby and to get through labor without too much misery. I remember that all too well a couple years ago. But these days, there's also the decision of whether or not to get the COVID-19 vaccine. It's a new thing after all, and it's something our moms never had to go through. And to help ease the concerns of any pregnant mothers, Dr. Becky Adami is speaking one on one with her patients. She's a maternal fetal medicine specialist and perinatologist through Rady and Sharp. And the topic of vaccines comes up a lot in her office. Yeah, I mean, I, I've really been talking to all my patients who come in. Obviously, the people I'm seeing are already pregnant, um, but it, it's something that I am recommending for all my patients. Her patients have questions. Could the vaccine hurt the unborn baby or even reject the placenta? The answer to all of that, according to Dr. Adami, based on the latest studies on pregnancy, is no. In fact, a recent study by Harvard shows pregnant women who were vaccinated had signs of antibodies in the umbilical cord and in their breast milk. It seems like it's, it's very good for babies as well. Um, okay. Protects mom, protects babies. Yeah. It, it all seems very, very safe. And that's why Dr. Adami was one of the first few pregnant women to sign up. She got the shot on the first day it was offered. She was six weeks pregnant, nine weeks for her second dose. And now she's 30 weeks and she's grateful to have the extra protection. Dr. Adami says she had infertility issues for her first daughter, who's now a beautiful three year old with that heart melting smile. And now for her second baby, she also took fertility medication. I get it. I mean, it's 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 high stakes, but at the same time, you want to protect this pregnancy. And I think getting the vaccine is the best way to do that. Medical professionals say the way the mRNA works in vaccines, there are no signs that it would ever reject the baby or the placenta. It's not biologically plausible. It doesn't make much sense. And we I haven't see. seen increased risk of miscarriage in women who get COVID. So if that was the case, you would see increased miscarriage in the first trimester. And Dr. Adami has a very simple way of explaining why that is. She says the vaccine gives your body the blueprint on how to create spike proteins. Then your body creates those proteins and after 10 days, the vaccine actually leaves your body. So it teaches your body a lesson, your body learns the lesson, and then it leaves leaving you with the power to fight off COVID. Incredible. <laughs> you know, it's, it's amazing technology. I think we're so lucky that this, you know, it happened at a time when we had such good, you know, good new research, good new data and genetics. We're able to, you know, the amazing research we're able to come up with a vaccine so quickly. According to many medical professionals, they have seen firsthand that getting COVID-19 puts mom and baby at far more risk than the vaccine would. Well, wow, quite the expert there, a maternal mm -hmm. fetal specialist. Right. So if you're worried about who's done their homework, she has done a lot of homework. Oh, on, yeah. I mean, this is her job. Yeah, exactly. I mean, a lot of statistics that she's looked at, the studies, right. everything that's come out about. She would never obviously want to tell her pregnant patients to do something that would harm them. Right. Uh, you know, and she understands there's a personal thing here. I mean, that's you're pregnant. You want to make sure your baby's safe. So she gets the concerns that a lot of these moms are having. And uh, that's why she, it's a big, big conversation in her office. She has unfortunately seen patients with COVID while they were pregnant. Some had to be intubated, uh, some recovered, but obviously the damage that can do is worse, she says, than what the vaccine can do. And that was do. what I was dealing with, mm -hmm. very afraid. You know, I was pregnant, you know, at the yeah. height of the pandemic. But Netta, yeah. what I found interesting was what she said that the vaccine leaves yeah, your yeah. body. Yeah, yeah she's never heard it that way. I, I, she, I, I, me neither. I mean, we've interviewed so many doctors about the way it works, and they always say, you know, it gives your body a blueprint, but the way she explained it, it teaches your body what to do, and then through cell breakdown, it leaves your body. So oh. then your body just knows through Incredible. its lesson that it gave it how to fight off the virus. Our so bodies are fascinating. They, they are, aren't yeah. They? Incredible. And, uh, you know, a question of fertility is another one. You know, some people who want to have a baby, they're worried about getting the vaccine. Some people have heard that it could affect sperm count. So we'll talk to a fertility specialist about that for next week as well.